Do you feel bad when people say no to you? Or are you one of those people who seldom or even never gets no for an answer? I'm Julie Pham. Welcome to the Curiosity Base channel. Today, I'm gonna to share with you four surprising benefits to getting rejection. Now, before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to also follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook. You can find the links in the description below. So now let's dive in. I think that getting no can actually be beneficial. I'll give you four benefits. The first is ego check. When you hear no, it can actually keep your ego in check. It can help you realize that it's actually okay to hear no, and you don't always have to get yes. So for example, for me, I am fortunate that I have a big network of friends and supporters, and there are still people who I reach out to, to connect with, and they just tell me, hey, I don't have time. And while that hurts, it also helps me understand that it's not always about getting yes. Second reason is empathy building. When you hear no, you're actually able to empathize more with those who also get rejected. Otherwise, you become one of those annoying people who never can understand what it's like to get rejection. For me, because I've gone through tough job searches where potential employers have said, oh, you're just not quite the right fit. I understand and can empathize with those who find job searching very frustrating and difficult. The third benefit is pushing our boundaries. If you're hearing yes most or all of the time, that probably means that you're only asking people who you think will say yes to you. When you hear no, that means that you're pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. When I hear no, it tells me I'm taking risk and that is so important to my own personal self-development. The fourth benefit is reinforcing your boundaries. When you get no, it makes you think, hmm, am I willing to change? What am I willing to do to get this person to say yes? And sometimes you realize you don't wanna change. I've been told, hey, Julie, if you just change this or this or do this or this, then I'll say yes. And it's made me realize I'm not willing to do that. And it helps me reinforce my own boundaries. So this has been an explanatory overview. If you want to read the detailed account, just go to curiositybase.com backslash blog. Which of these four benefits resonates the most with you personally? Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please push that like button and also leave a comment for me below. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe and also click on that notification button so you know when we're releasing new videos. Once again, I'm Julie Pham and this has been the Curiosity Based Channel. Which of these four benefits to getting rejection most personally resonates with you.